They cover 17 million hectares in France, almost a third of the country. Forests, a boon for our ecosystem, and also a resource. Every year, 38 million cubic meters of wood are transformed into industrial raw material as timber or for heating. In Senat, one of the largest forests of the Paris region, the teams of the National Forestry Office ensure that this green gold is put to good use. For this oak tree, no mercy is shown. Its fine branch rate is far lower than that of the tree on the left. So we're going to cut it down. This will give the one on the left more room to grow. A diameter of 65 centimeters and the red mark shows the woodcutter that it has to be cut down and then the hammer mark. This morning, the job is to decide what has to be cut down and what will remain for the overall good of the forest. The sapwood, the sap carrying part, has been degraded and you can see the sawdust caused by insects. Then the work of birds, in this case woodpeckers, which have tried to eat these insects. And this is a tree where you can see there's not a single living branch left. These trees serve as a continuous support for a whole host of species that are of ecological interest to us, whether they're protected or not. The trees which are cut down are called lumber, and they'll be sorted for size and destination. 65. 20% will end up as timber, and maybe even in your living room. So here we have a second length in which there are no knots, in other words, no insertion of tree branches, and so this will generally make beautiful parquet flooring, since people look for parquet floors without knots. It's more attractive, more aesthetic. We might find little buds on the wood, they're not really defects. They're just slight stains that are quite sought after, in fact. These hundred-year-old oaks are destined for a cooperage. It's a full-bodied wood, round, cylindrical. It looks really good. This is very important for the buyer. You can always feel something around wood. And that's what a cooper is looking for, right? Exactly. A bit further away, in a private plot in the forest of Fontainebleau, Alain is looking for wood for home heating. Eight out of ten trees sold end up in our fireplaces. This private individual buys directly from source in exchange for a financial agreement with the landowner. Here, these are scratch marks. The owner marks the trees. This one, that one over there, the small one over there. This is the whole forest. He let the small ones grow bigger. The big ones, which can't be sold to professionals, can be sold to private individuals. It's not common practice because it involves a lot of hard graft, cutting them down, loading and transporting them. But it costs three times less than the market price. With the rise in energy prices, heating wood has become popular again. Logs, pellets, but also chips. OK, lift it up. Not so long ago, none of this had any value. But now, in this composting center in the Paris region, anything and everything is shredded, from the smallest cedar to a 100-year-old colossus. We've got plane trees, conifers, deciduous trees. Thousands of tons of green waste that private households, municipalities and businesses don't know what to do with are collected and transformed. In the past, this type of wood was just put to one side or burnt. Nowadays, there's much more value in it. Certainly more value in terms of energy recovery. After six months of drying, cheap fuel is produced, sales of which have jumped by 70% over the last 10 years. Demand has gone through the roof, and sometimes it's the forests which suffer. In the Chêne des Puits, near de Clermont-Ferrand, Anthony, the nature warden, observes the damage caused by intensive foresting. There's one machine which goes through here, cutting down trees on either side with a cutting arm, and a second machine which picks up the pieces. Viewed from above, the trees look like fish bones. A few kilometers away, another more traditional method is back in fashion. Horseback logging. It's more labor intensive, 
but it's all-terrain, sustainable and incredibly efficient. Come on. Move on, move on. Move on. Well, I mean, this By tonight, we'll have about 25, maybe 30, thanks to the four horses. Yes, that's good. We're very agile with horses. We can pick up a tree on one side, then on the other side, zigzagging between the trees, so we damage fewer trees. So the forest suffers less? Exactly. We're preserving it for the future, let's say. And with machines? A bit less. <laughs> but rest assured, logging is strictly monitored and French forests are in constant growth. Every year, they're gaining 85,000 more hectares throughout the country, the equivalent of three Fontainebleau forests per year.